the introduction of Hedda Gabler, a four-act play, George Tessman and his wife Hedda, whose maiden name is Gabler, have just come back to Norway after a six-month honeymoon. Hedda, a general's daughter and a socialite, is uncomfortable around the bourgeois Miss Tessman, her husband's aunt, and has difficulty treating her family well. In the rising action, Mrs. Elvsted, a former classmate of Hedda's, visits. She's fled her husband in order to be close to her lover and her children's tutor, Eilert Loveborg, who also happens to be George's main professional rival. Judge Brack drops by to see how the young couple is settling in. He brings further news about Eilert, who has surprised everyone by getting sober and publishing a successful new book. For George, this is bad news, because it makes Eilert a serious contender for the professorship George was counting on. George agrees to join Judge Brack at a party that evening. That afternoon, Eilert shows up and sheepishly announces he has completed yet another book, which is even better than the one he recently published. He has the manuscript with him and offers to read some to George. It's been hinted that Eilert was an old flame of Hedda's, and this scene confirms his feelings for her remain. When Mrs. Elvsted arrives, Hedda immediately sets about driving a wedge between her and Eilert. She tempts Eilert to drink, and his old bad habits reemerge. He pounds down two glasses of punch and announces that he would like to go along to the judge's party. Mrs. Elvsted is upset by this request, and her trust in Hedda appears deeply shaken. The next morning, George comes in carrying Eilert's manuscript. It was misplaced during the drunken night out. Judge Brack pays a brief visit and tells Hedda all about Eilert's drunken escapades. Eilert arrives and announces that Mrs. Elvsted must leave him before she becomes further entangled in scandal. He confesses he's lost the manuscript, and now, with his career, reputation, and romantic prospects in ruins, he sees no option but to kill himself. Hedda encourages him to end his life, even lending him one of her pistols. After Eilert is gone, Hedda takes out his manuscript and burns it. In the climax, it's revealed that Eilert dies by accident or mishap at a brothel, not suicide. In the falling action, Judge Brack tries to blackmail Hedda into an affair for giving Eilert the pistol. And in the tragic resolution, Hedda uses the remaining pistol to shoot herself.